Alright guys, welcome back. It's Stealth here. We're playing some more Resident Evil 2. Can't go any further. I'll have to investigate that noise at a later date. Let's go see what's going on here. Alright, this is where I need the jewels. Alright, let's go get those. I have to get the second one. I can drop some stuff off here. There. I don't have any arrows, so let's just put the bow gun in here, too. And. Yeah, that'll be good. I need to grab the lighter, though. That's what I needed to grab. Now I just need to do this. Come on. There we go. And, uh... Yeah, I'll go out that way. There's only one guy here. Well, he's in my way now. Alright, this place is completely clear now. Okay. Ugh. Recording this late at night. So anything that go goes out and jumps me, I have to be careful. I don't want to scream wake anybody up. I mean, I shouldn't. Because I'm as far away from everybody else as I think I can be, but... I mean, you never know. I mean, if something really gets me, who knows? Alright, so there was a fireplace in here. So you have to take the lighter that you grabbed from over... Wherever that was. And you use it here. There's the second red jewel. Alright. I think I'm going to use this time to go... No, actually, on second thought, I was going to go and get those uh, four herbs that weed that I left there, but I think I'll just wait, take care of this thing with the two jewels first, and then go get them. They can wait, they're not going anywhere. Ah. One thing that, that bugs me about this game. All the doors. I mean, they're not too bad. The animations, at least you're making your way through. But I remember in some Resident Evil games, it just to build that anticipation, it takes so long to go through the door. It's just such a waste of your time. It's like, in reality, no one would take that much time to go through a door. They'd just be, boom, through, done. I mean, I guess another reason you could rationalize it is the fact that, uh... 
the fact that pretty much it's like this is a, is a zombie apocalypse, so they could open it slowly to check to see if there's anybody there. In my case, the one time there was, because I forgot that if you go that way, you actually trigger that many those zombies to come out. I forgot you could do that. It was like the equivalent of trying to open the door in Resident Evil 1, and those dogs come out and try to get you. Is there anything in here I could grab before I go over there? this. Hey, diamond key, I needed you. Yes, I do. That's one. There's a stone. Half of one, at least. I'm trying to remember what doors open with a diamond. Hearts downstairs from where we are. Uh, there's a diamond on the first floor over here, and I think there's a diamond one over on the other one, or there's two diamond ones. I can't recall. At any rate, we'll figure it out. Uh, actually, let's put that key back as well as this stone. And the herb. Yeah, let's put the herb back in here as well, because I sure as heck don't need it. Go. Let's grab those four while we can. Oh. It gets to those points in the game where you've dealt with most of the enemies for now. It's just a lot of running back and forth. It gets monotonous. But I'll take it over constantly fearing for my life all the time. There's one. Two. Three. One. There shouldn't be any more behind here. That's right, no more. Alright. I don't think my score will be hurt too badly by using just the one first aid spray. Hopefully, I don't need any more. I mean, I'm getting to the point now that I have so many herbs I shouldn't need anymore. There's nothing over that way. I'm effectively done going that way. Let's drop this stuff off. One downstairs, let's go this way. So that's a, that'll allow me to figure out which way is going to be the best. Let's go over here first, because there was a diamond key over here that needed to be done. I think it was that interrogation room. 
And then I think there's two rooms on the other side that need a diamond key. I could be wrong. I know there's at least one on the left side. Heart was in there. I don't have a heart. The club and diamond was over here. Here's the deal about this one, guys. What you have to do... I'm gonna grab this one. How this works... This section right here... Is that... Hang on. Okay, so... The deal with that, it triggers as soon as you pick up the second item, and you run by the window. So, it won't go in unless you pick up the one item. But yeah, got another stone. That we can drop off. And the cord, I'm not certain I need it right now. But, I'm just going to cross this way, so... Alright... Okay. So, those things can go in here. And I really don't think I need the cord. I, I really don't. I mean, if I do need the cord, then oh well. We'll get to it at the next part. We'll get it. I mean... I don't think I'm that far ahead already. It's only been about... Maybe about an hour or so since I started playing. Let's go through here. Don't you dare grab me. I'm not in the mood. Yeah. All right, that was it. There's only the one here. I forget if there's zombies here. Yeah, I do it. Holy! Okay. <sighs> I'll take that. Good God. I thought there was only four in here. That scared the life out of me. I'm going to be getting the bow gun to work out at least. And there's the C4. But, we need a detonator for that.
Man, that was like jam packed. I do not regret using a lot of my uh, grenade rounds in there. Not at all. Well, let's go deal with, uh, there's the detonator. Uh-oh. Turn purple. Back out. He really wants our blood. You know, for all the dramatic build-up that they have for that, he's not any tougher than any of the other ones. There we go. Memo to Leon. To Leon Kennedy, congratulations on your assignment to the Raccoon City Police Department. We all look forward to having you as a part of our team and promise to take good care of you. Welcome aboard. From all the guys at the RPD. Thank you. Alright. I don't think there's anything else here. Go back upstairs. And on through here we go. Okay, guys. So, I think that's going to be it for this part here. What we're going to be doing next time is we're going to go through and, uh... What is it? We're going to go through, blow up that wall, and check out what happened with that scream. So, like the video if you did, comment, let me know what you thought, and be sure to subscribe for more, more videos. That's it. So, uh, peace out, guys.